The number of deaths per 100,000 women in the United States from stomach cancer is given in this table. We're given the table of data and we're asked to find an equation for a model for these data. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do uh, in any modeling problem is to look at the data. So let's let T I'll let T represent the number of years since 1900 and I'll let um, D of T represent uh, the can stomach cancer deaths per 100,000 women in the US. Alright, so let's plot these points using our graphing calculator and see what we find. Alright, so stat edit. Alright, so I'm just going to say 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80, 90. All right, and for my outputs, I'm just going to use the outputs as given, 28, 21, 13, 9, 6, 5, 4. Let's, let me set my window. So let's go from, say, 0 to 100 by 10s. And for my y values, how about 0 to 30, and how about a scale of, I don't know, 2. Stat plot, let me turn my stat plot on, and my y equals screen, let's clear that out, and let's graph it. Alright, so notice how we have a decrease in curve, and then it appears to flatten out. So since it flattens out, that sort of tells us not to use a quadratic model, but rather an exponential model. So let's use an exponential model. So I'm going to say d of t is equal to, uh, we're going to try to find it as a times b to the t. Now let's use two points. Now how to choose the points is you know sometimes fairly difficult but what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose points that are fairly far away. I'm going to use 30, 28, and 85. So now that I have these two points, I'm going to use the technique that we talked about in the previous slide, or the previous problems. I'll write two equations based on the model. So using the second point first, I have 5 is equal to a times b to the 80th power, and I have 28 is equal to a times b to the 30th power. Dividing left-hand sides and right-hand sides, the left-hand side, 5 over 28, is equal to 0.17857, and that would equal to b to the 50th raising both sides of the equation to the 150th power. So let me take my answer and raise it to the 150th power. And that gives me 0.966 approximately. So now since b is 0.966, I can go back and solve for a. 5 is equal to a 
times 0.966 to the 80th power. So then dividing through, we would find that a is equal to 5 divided by 0.966 to the 80th power. And I'll calculate that. 5 divided by 0.966 to the 80th power is, let's say, 79.6. So then I have my model is D of T is equal to 79.6 times 0.966 to the t. Now, as with any model, it's always a good idea to, you still have those points plotted on your calculator. Let's go back in and graph the function along with it. So y equals 79.6 by 0.966 raised to the x. Let's graph that. And that looks like a fairly good model. It seems to fit the points rather well. You have roughly the same number of curves, up, up points above the curve and below the curve. I'd say that that's a pretty good fit. So we'll hold on to that model. Part B asks us to estimate the number of cancer deaths per 100,000 women in 2000. So now in 2000, remember we said that T was the number of years since 1900. So in 2000, that implies that T is equal to 100. So then D of 100 would be equal to 79.6 by 0.966 to the 100th power. Calculator time. 79.6 by 0.966 to the 100th power. 2.5 roughly. So conclusion. In 2000, there will be about 2.5 deaths per 100,000 women in the United States from stomach cancer. Right, given the same data and same function, what would be a reasonable domain and range be for the model? Right, so remember, whenever you create a model, it's usually very, it's usually much better between the data points than outside the data points. So we don't want to go too far outside the data points. So therefore, what I would say is a, a reasonable dom domain would be my values of t could be between 20 and 100. So basically I'm going 10 years on either side of the given data points. Reasonable range. Well we know that this is a decreasing function from our graph and so and, and it never increases so what I'm going to do is evaluate d of 20 and d of 100, d of 20, now we already know d of 100, we found d of 100 to be about 2.5, and d of 20, using the same function as before, and let's just replace that 100 with a 20, is about 39.9.
And so therefore, a reasonable range would be that d of t, the output, would be between 2.5 and 39.9.